folks, it's Grimwit from NatGevil.com, and I still have insomnia. This is called Remembering the City. It's got all this stuff in it, as you can clearly see. It is said that the city used to be there all the time, and it covered the world. It was lo That was long ago. Now the city only comes out at night. You get the idea. So, this is another one of those environmental levels from Nit's stories. And it's not as slow as the last two. But it is as long. I don't know. I like it. It only comes out at night, you idiot. Now, I left the, I was doing that to see if he said anything different if I left the screen, but he didn't. This one isn't one of those complicated uh, levels. I, it, I don't think it really needs to be either. Um, did I, did I miss the little city? There's like a little Easter egg city somewhere in here. Did, did I go past it? Where is it? I think it's... Go up, go up, go up, go up. Uh, go up. Uh, there. Shit. There. Alright. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Oh, alright. For some reason my jump button isn't working back there, but that's okay. We've got this tiny little city. Full of these tiny little fluffy guys. And there's this guy. He built this city on rock and roll. And for no porpoise, Por porpoise, porpoise, a big fish. Right. Let me see. No, no, I, I can't jump here. He, the level designer turned off jump just in this little climbing area. I guess for for effect, like so that you don't ruin your immersion by bumping your head on the nothing above you. Wait. Oh yeah, this place. We'll go up there in, in a little bit. Oh, lots of little rock guys around here. Hmm. hmm. Nice little house we got there, little bird. Anyway. I like this level. You can run through it pretty fast, and as you clearly see, you start with pretty much all the powers of Knit Stories except for the umbrella, and I don't... You, you don't really need it. It's just... nice and calm. The, uh, the crickets, the, the rock formations, everything... everything's really calm. Yeah. Until we start seeing lights in the sky. Well, no, that pretty much remains calm. I thought that was a water thing. Like this. That is actually water. <sighs> God, I'm still tired. Well, at least I stayed up long enough to see the city come out at night. plants. It is a good... I'm pretty sure these are all custom... custom tiles for knit stories. And in here... Yeah. Well, hang on, look at... I'm checking for uh, secrets, but I don't think there is one in this one. I think I'm... I think I'm thinking of another level. So... 
Egg. I don't know if this is... This cave is like the city. I've only ever been here at night. But I don't think it belongs with the city. Because it's an egg. This is gorgeous, and it's a really nice set piece for the level, but we should go back. You didn't miss anything. It's just the same old city, appearing and disappearing in the horizon. So this is topside, and it's really not all that exciting, which is why I went underground. And we're back at the cliffs. Alright, uh, check on our friend. He doesn't say anything different. We go away now. Nobody, nobody says anything different around here. It's kind of disappointing. I'm, I actually don't think my version of this level has an end state. Like, um, I thought... I thought if you went back to your house, which is pretty easy to get to, you'd be able to end the game, but it doesn't end there. <sighs> Big my pine. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... No, it's, it's just here. You take the level for what it is. There's no end. Let's head back. And, uh, the egg is still remains an egg. The message doesn't change. It just goes on about the city and memory and stuff. So, I think that's it for now. Since there's no end state, we're going to stop the level here. And, uh, it's 4 o'clock right now. 4.07, really. Good night, everyone.